Well, we're joined now from Liverpool by policing expert Peter Williams from the Liverpool Centre for Advanced Policing Studies to talk about these proposals in more detail. Very good afternoon to you. Just tell us exactly what the Home Secretary is suggesting here. Well, what it's, uh, from the information I've uh, seen on the media in relation to what the Home Secretary is proposing is to actually um, fill a, what she perceives to be a skills gap in relation to the ability of the police service to react and uh, investigate with uh, the growing incidence of uh, cybercrime. Uh, and I understand she envisages that uh, people who've got skills in those areas and accountants have been specifically mentioned uh, will be expected to come forward as volunteers or be encouraged to be to come forward at least and uh, will be assigned to uh, Pacific complicated investigations which uh, currently she uh, it would appear she believes that the police service don't have the expertise to um, to deal with uh, do you agree with that no, she's wrong, completely wrong in my view, and I think that we can, uh, we, we can say um, over the past years, perhaps the past 15 years where there's been a move towards an intelligence-based policing, there's far more reliance on, on uh, analysis, uh, which includes uh, technical analysis by either police officers or um, support staff, which um, which produces uh, intelligence, uh, which uh, police operations uh, are uh, subsequently based. And that also uh, is transferred to um, the growing number, as I've mentioned, number of uh, technically based uh, cyber operations that, that we're now seeing. So actually, the, the police service does have the skills currently and what she needs to do, I believe, is to develop those people further in order that they can meet and match this obviously growing demand. But what would the harm be in asking for volunteers who, to bring in people with that skill set to, to help those who are already doing the job? Wouldn't we have a, a more effective police force then? Well, I think that there's, there's several issues to that. One of the theme, major themes in, in relation to that, of course, is, is that the, the sensitive nature of many of these uh, uh, inquiries, which, which are based around online sort of crime. I mean, for example, um, as you, you, you probably know, it, there's been a, a successful uh, policing operation running for a number of years in relation to child exploitation uh, online. In fact, the Home Secretary herself has, um, has amalgamated or uh, incorporated that particular department into the, into the, the, the national um, the, the, the national crime agency. But the major theme for me in relation to this is one of accountability. Due to the sensitive nature of of, of these uh, of these inquiries, it is inevitable that sensitive material will cross the path of whichever volunteer it is. But sure, the police but that, services. But that's the case. But that's the case with serving police officers as well. And surely, if enough safeguards were in place, uh, training, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then it could only help. You know, they're, they're so understaffed these departments, as you said, and we know that they're struggling in the area of child exploitation uh, to catch paedophiles effectively, that actually extra resources could only aid them? Well, I was about to say, in effect, that the police officers engaged on those uh, type of investigations, like any other, and any member of support staff, are bound by a strict code of ethics. Now, this code of ethics was introduced about 18 months ago, which replaced the police discipline code. And that is a very, a, a very strong sense um, of professionalism and ethics that, that transcends all operations, inc including this uh, t t type of inquiry. I mean, the police service has adapted historically to all developing um, images or concept of criminality without its history, uh, throughout its history. And this is this is just another one which 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 needs which would require far more resources. Well, I think of the Home Secretary wishes to do something about it and assist Chief Constables and the Director General, the Director General of the National Crime Agency to, to, to counter this, which is a growing effect, growing effect. She needs to invest in more training of her existing staff where we have a, a, an already good, proven skills base and resource them properly. OK, Peter Williams from the Liverpool Centre for Advanced Policing Studies. Good to get your thoughts this afternoon. We'll see how these recommendations progress. Thank you.